What if I told you he wasn't the greatest? That a country would fail to protect its greatest natural resource? That sometimes it is a matter of life and death? 30 stories, 30 filmmakers, 30 years. ESPN's critically acclaimed 30 for 30, presented by Levi's. That's fine, that's fine. There we go, keep aiming, well done. Nope. Who's there? Who's there? My name's Karen, what's your name? Uh, Matthew, Matthew Jordan. We're filming a documentary today on new sports and uh, I understand that you're a major role in this. So, um, what's your child's name? Uh, my child's name is Michael, Michael Jordan. Uh, she, she, <laughs> you might know her, she's been in newspapers. You know, she's a big deal. Yeah, how many children do you have in total? Um, well, I have three children in total. All this one, his name is, uh, John and uh, coming next we have Michael, Michael Jordan. You know she's a she's a nine year old. Uh -huh. She's currently playing the third grade rec league. Um, and then I recently adopted a Nigerian baby. His name is Pobo, and uh, he, you know he's got a great future. God, there we go. Oh. That's another, that's another. Four K. Um, I'm hoping she gets three goals. You know it's, it's it's a big game. If we want to get to the playoffs, you know we're gonna have to we're gonna have to really bring good effort today. Yeah. Hey, 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 coach, do you know how long Michael has been on the bench? Do you want to go to the playoffs? So, uh, I understand that she's uh, well-renowned in this sport, so what are her accolades so far? Yeah, well, you know, it's true. Uh, we've sent her to plenty of camps, you know, Harvard, Princeton, Yale, ever heard of them? Um, you know, she's been playing ever since she was in diapers. Uh, she's gotten the Heart and Soul Award every year for each one of the rec teams she's been on. We're already two minutes and 37 seconds of the game. Michael hasn't had one goal. One goal. I'm so disappointed. She's not getting her ice cream today. So, what is your background in all of this? Um, well, well, you know, I was a JV captain in my high school days, Wilton High School, you know. Um, of course. JV captain, we had a great... And then, of course, I went on to play college soccer, you know. All right, like... That's I, like, I played, I played fraction college, of what I played college soccer. This is youth soccer. This is youth soccer. I'm trying to get to the playoffs. I'm trying to win, okay? So, what is her future? Ivy. Ivy. Any other colleges? Ivy. This is the only way? Oh. Ivy. Isn't she in fifth grade? Like. Uh, yeah. What's your point? You were saying, like, she's a little young to be thinking about, like, people develop at different cool. times, you know? What's your opinion? Opinion. She she she's got a mixtape. Uh, I, I can I can see you a link later. Um hi, my name is Jared Dunn and we're doing a documentary today on new sport. So um, right. first question, what are your thoughts on Mr. Jordan? Mr. Mr. Jordan, uh nice nice guy. A little intense. I've been training Michael since she was four four years old. Less since she was in diapers. Um, I mean, I don't, I don't know. He's, he's a little, he's an odd bunch in the group of parents. Nothing I haven't seen before though. And she has, she has that capability. But you know, I, I just get a little frustrated with the coach. The coaches, you know, they're not real coaches. Mr. Jordan talked a lot about his daughter Michael and her renowned success in soccer. What are your thoughts on that? I mean, yeah, Michael, she's a great player, very good player. But th again, fifth grade, rack soccer. Just having, trying to have fun, trying to like just introduce the kids to the sport. Most most illegal slide type event, you know. Never mind. But um, she she just gets all the awards, you know. And do you consider his actions as going too far, or possibly as? Being too aggressive. Right. No, no, no. You, you, you sit back, buddy. It's too physical, even too violent, maybe. Sir, I'm not on the field, sir. I'm, I'm not on the field currently, sir. You're the one who's off the field. 
five minutes. Show, show, you know how show, many goals you have? You know how many goals you can get? Out. I've got donated to the Booster Club. They say the Booster Club doesn't di exist. It exists. I get Booster Club. Yeah. I'm. Um, I'm not aware of a Booster Club. Well, there would be no soccer community if it wasn't for me. You know, people say like, oh. Ma Matthew, how do you how do you donate to the Booster Club? It doesn't exist. It does exist. I made it. Okay, I've donated more than anyone. Actually, I'm the only one who's donated to the Booster Club. You know, I'm a, I'm a big funder and I'm a big I'm just a voice. You know, people see me on the side. It's like, oh hey, there's Matthew supporting his daughter. Like I want to be him. You know, I want to bring my kid here to the game. So like I, you know, I I, I do take a lot of credit. But, daughters, but sometimes yelling at the players, yelling at the referees, he smacked the refs butt. Trying to get all friendly and stuff, just handing him some money. I, I, I bet I, I, I saw him handing the ref some money. Hey, hey. Good game, ref. You did a great job, buddy. There you go. So, uh, tell me what rec soccer is all about in Greenwich. Um, rec soccer is uh, more for the younger children. It's more of a way to like introduce the kids to the sports. Um, not much about the competition. It's more of just about like teamwork, having fun, learning the sport, and yeah. Usually, sometimes parents get out of hand, but that's not really what rec soccer is about. Exactly, that's what it's meant to be for children to develop and have fun with their friends. And um, exactly, we don't really give out much awards. We're not about that. We don't give awards. Any awards given to kids, I don't know, come from the parents. I don't know. Not nothing we do. Bullshit! <laughs> Go back in, back in. Oh, come on, White! You need to be better than that! <laughs> Good, White. <laughs> I heard you guys talking, that's some absolute bullshit, okay? Have you ever heard of the Ivy? Have you ever heard of recruiting? You know how you know how much work it takes to get one of your children? Most coachable. <laughs> Most coachable. Matthew the guy. He's gone out of hand. <laughs> <laughs> Right. <laughs> no, I'm an angry parent actually. Oh right, okay. I'm, 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 I'm You're doing a good job as an angry parent. Thank you, thank you. Well done. It's for a project. Yeah. Compliments from the coach. Please, please, it's about time to up! Are, are you kidding me, sir? Do you know how much- 